Hello, beautiful light workers. This is May's energy update for the light workers, way showers, and awakening collective. I am Casey Knight, and I'm here to support you on your luminous evolutionary journey. And we are in it. It is happening now. May is exciting. May is intense, and basically, I'm calling it magical, miraculous, and mentally unstable. So let's get into some of the energy that I am perceiving uh, on the cosmic scale, but also into the astrology and the archetypes. Please take everything that you hear and run it through your own discernment filter because we are all on our own personal journey as well as a collective journey as well. So basically, this is the update for the people who are actively doing their personal energetic work to create some new experience for them and then create a new experience for the world that we are calling the new earth. So at this time, the light is pouring in. There is so much cosmic light. This began a little while ago. <coughs> Pardon me. And there is just a lot being illuminated on this planet here. So we are definitely in a time of acceleration, but illumination of all of the shit that we have had under the surface for a very long time. This has been happening for a while on the planet. You can see it on the global scale, but also in our own personal lives. Basically, everything that does not serve us and that is not our truth and that's ready to go is being illuminated and shown to us. The light is pouring in for us, but it can feel almost like an attack when the intensity is so great. So I want you to know that it's happening for you. It's upgrades galore, and it is for your personal evolution, for your growth, for your personal, professional, and spiritual development. You're being invited to go to the next level, which is exciting and terrifying. Right? Like We usually get dragged to the next level kicking and screaming, but if we can do it consciously and we know it's happening, we can be prepared for it. So I want to talk to you about what going to that next level is going to look like because there's two different main ways that it's happening, two main waves of evolution. For some people, myself falling into this category, it feels like just an expansion into that next step that you've seen coming for a while. Maybe you've been terrified of it, you've been working towards it, you've been going through all these challenges to get yourself ready for it, and it's very obvious. You're like, okay, this is what I'm doing next. I have to coach myself through it, but here we go. And for other people, it's going to be less linear, more illogical, and this next evolution is going to seem almost random. It's going to not make sense to you until you're looking back at it a year or two from now, and you're going to go, oh, I totally understand why that was my next step. It's going to make perfect sense in hindsight, but it's going to feel like a quantum leap into something completely unexpected for many of you now. One way is not better than the other. It's just how it's going. So there are going to be a subset of people who feel like before they make that illogical quantum leap that everything is kind of falling apart. There's also going to be this um, energy for some people that feels like the past is coming up and punching them in the face. And I'm so sorry because that sucks. And you might feel like you've already dealt with it. But the thing is, if it's still punching you in the face, you haven't been able to fully heal it. We're actually able to reach more depth now so we can do healing on a deeper cellular uh, level, an ancestral level, collective level, akashic level. And so if something is coming up for you, you do have the opportunity to actually clear it out completely at this time, which is exciting and it is going to be how you get to the next level. So if it's right in front of you, it's not blocking you from what it is that you are going to do next. It is actually the way, like through it that's going to give you access to that next level. So basically everything is going to speed up. It's going to be very intense, which is why I said miraculous, magical, and mentally unstable May is what we're dealing with, because the speed accelerates everything. And if everything is coming up that's in your way and you are not anchored, if you're not rooted, if you're not aligned, if you're not doing your personal practices, it is going to feel like you're going crazy. And especially if you're in that phase where you're about to take an illogical 
leap, right? Where it's not a linear expansion, but you're just leaping into some other experience entirely. If you're trying to hold on to things and you're not willing to let them flow through you, which is what our energy is needing to evolve into, right? Not holding information and energy in our field, but rather being in the flow of the quantum field and the information flowing through us in this clean and clear way. If you're not able to release and you're not able to flow and you're not able to surrender and let go, it's also going to make you absolutely feel, feel nuts, right? Because there's just too much for your mind to process. This energy can't be processed by the mind. We are going to go crazy if we try to hold it all here, if we try to understand it all here. We have to now learn to live from the heart space. We have to or we are going to just find ourselves off balance, off kilter and totally unable to handle the speed at which the world is moving right now. So dropping into the heart space, take a breath and slow down. And the beauty of it is that May is setting you up for this. We have begun May in the sign of Taurus and Taurus is the first earth sign and it's very much about slowing down, rooting in after that Aries initiation energy that came through in April and all of that eclipse energy. And now we are invited to slow down, come into the body, come into the heart, be present, be grounded, be rooted, be in the present moment now. Because if you are hanging out in the past or the future, that is where the instability, the anxiety, the overwhelm happens. In this present moment now, you can slow down enough to be in tune with what is and surrender what will be and what was and just be in this energetic stream that will bring you later in the month all of the visions and ideas and the things that you are desiring. But to avoid burning out through this evolution, through this acceleration, you got to ground into your body and I'm going to invite you to try to enjoy it. The more enjoyment you can bring into your life, which is a big lesson from Taurus, it, the more you are going to have the stability and capacity to do what you came here to do. So this is going to be kind of a counterpoint to the, to the fast pace of those last few months energetically. Even though the energy is happening really fast, it's the go slow to go fast energy that we're needing to go into. We also have a little bit of an interesting energy with Pluto, which is going into retrograde today, May 1st, right at the beginning of the month. Now, Pluto is one of those outer planets that, I mean, if you can call it a planet, <laughs> depends on who you ask been downgraded to exoplanet but one of these stellar objects that takes uh, hundreds of years to move into a different sign and we recently just moved into Aquarius Pluto is retrograding in Aquarius until well Aquarius and then Capricorn until October so this is a chance to take that revolutionary energy that Pluto came in with over the last few months and take some time to realign to reflect and go, what is it that is actually gonna support us? What lessons can we learn from what just happened that are gonna align us into the future? So there's a really beautiful time to do more visioning work for this new earth that we are co-creating. The new moon in Taurus on May 7th is another beautiful time to really set intention to connect into what you want for your own personal stability, for your own personal life, for your finances, for your physical health, for your well-being, for your home. This is a chance to plant all of the seeds for the stability that you want to create so that you can then give from that overflowing place. So yeah, time for what you want to grow into over the next few months on that very deeply personal level. Um, home, finances, health, body, that kind of thing. Set the intention. And on May 15th, Mercury is then going to be going into Taurus while the sun is in Taurus and all of that. So we're going to be offered this chance to see and communicate and have the perspective through the Taurus lensing, which is very fact of the matter. No BS here. And I want you to take this time to really examine yourself your life and about what needs to be done to improve your situation. So what that means is being honest with yourself about your needs, your wants, your desires, and desires are not a dirty word. Taurus teaches us that the material realm is actually a sacred realm, right? A lot of the light workers, way showers, healers, you know, you're so in touch with the etheric and the energetics and you want to dismantle capitalism and totally get it. 
but also we came to experience this material realm and really see and feel and enjoy the pleasures with which it comes, right? So food, your body, a garden, the smell of rain, slowing down into those and be honest about what you need to improve beauty, aesthetics, your experience, having comfort that brings you into a grounded, stable place. And yes, even enjoying some luxuries without guilt because it's okay on it's okay to create abundance for yourself because then you can give from the overflow. And if you've got a trigger to abundance, to overflowing energy, to any of that stuff, that is where you get to really heal because you cannot create more without having more personally so that you can give from overflow instead of being in survival and not having enough. That's where the lightworkers and healers get so burnt out and resentful. If you don't keep enough for yourself, the energy of martyrdom, the energy of giving more than you have and giving at your own expense is over. That is how we used to accrue soul points here on this planet, basically martyrdom. And that's that's old news. It is time to give from the overflow because that is the stable way that you can continue giving indefinitely. OK, and that's more important. That's what we're here to do. Now, May 18th is a lucky day. The sun is going to be uh, in Taurus, but conjunct with Jupiter in Taurus. And there's going to be uh, a beautiful day to do a little bit of intention setting work, but not to stay at home and rot in bed. Okay, on May 18th, I want you to be out in the world being where luck can find you. Okay, luck is something that you create through your availability to magic and miracles. So you have to be open enough. You have to be open to the possibilities. If you are only problem focused, if you're only looking at the problem, 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 you're looking down, luck is gonna be like, hello, I have this opportunity for you to change your circumstances. And you won't even notice, okay? So being out in the world and being in this very stable place because Taurus has helped you with create that stability regulation of the nervous system so you can be open and in enjoyment of what life has to offer, that's where luck can find you. That's where you can make your own luck. So this is going to be a really exciting time. When May, May 20th, the sun moves into Gemini, there is this opportunity for things to shift and become a little bit lighter. Taurus is an earth sign, very rooted, very grounded. Gemini is an air sign. It moves quick. Things are going to speed up. And I want you to take a breath into some vibe that's less serious than the Taurian energy. I'm a Taurus rising. I love that Taurus energy. But the lightness of Gemini allows for ease of communication, bringing through new ideas. So be open to new ideas. We are coming up over for the from this time, May 20th, about a month before the summer solstice, or the solstice, um, regardless of whether it's summer or winter for you. And that means the channel is opening for more ideas and more of your soul energy to flow through. So be open to them, cultivate that, because again, you're gonna bring through ideas that are available for you, not if you're looking down at the problems, but if you are open and asking and available. This is the vibe that we get to cultivate for the, well always, but really the last half of the month. And then on May 23rd, there is a full moon in Sagittarius and Venus enters Gemini while the sun is in Gemini and it's a magical full moon. It is time to release any of the blocks that you have for your personal, spiritual, and mental, and personal, and professional, said personal twice, advancement, okay? Blocks to evolution, blocks to expansion. This is the time for them to be illuminated and let them go. Anything that is keeping you stuck, playing out the old same narratives, the old storylines, the old beliefs, the up-leveling potential is so great, but you have to let go of playing it safe. And Sagittarius and Gemini are sister signs that are all about expansion and evolution. And they are going to support you in basically being able to move into more of that evolutionary expansive energy on every level, should you allow them to. And you know what? If you don't let them, if you don't allow it, you're kind of going to be dragged kicking and screaming into it anyway. So might as well enjoy the flow. Speaking of enjoyment, on May 25th, we have Jupiter entering Gemini 
and it is the planet of luck and spirituality. So this is this beautiful time to open up even more to new ideas, new expressions, and let something that you're already doing level up with a fresh new energy or start a new project, do something new, like actually take action on it at this time. Really great time to go to school, meet new people, have new connections, new communications. Really wanna invite you to be flexible and open-minded because this is where life might surprise you. If you're ready to use all of this amazing energy from this miraculous, magical, yet potentially mentally unstable, if you're not aligned and anchored, may, I want to bring you into a chance to expand your capacity to work with energy and join me in a three free day masterclass called the evolution of your magic. It's specifically for energy workers and healers who are ready to become energy activators to help people activate their soul gifts. Because all of this healing work that we've been doing for years is literally just the beginning. Healing was never the end goal or end destination. Now it's time to help people activate their soul gifts and become conscious creators. And this is work that is going to really be taking off over the coming years as more and more people have woken up and have been doing their shadow work, have been doing their healing work, and they're ready for more. I want you to become a pioneer of this work where you can help people really align with their soul energy and activate their DNA, their light body, align with their cosmic trajectory, and really be able to co-create consciously this new earth that we are all wanting, that we are all ready for, that is waiting for us, right? We are the ones we've been waiting for. So if that sounds like you come to play inside the evolution of your magic, the link is just down below. And that is going to be an opportunity for me to take you through uh, activations and upgrades yourself to enhance your energy work, as well as offer you the opportunity to bring some of these practices in to your professional work as well. May, I'm so ready. I am so excited. I hope you are too. I really want to remind you that it has to slow down to go fast, ground in so you have the stability to expand and to open wide to catch all of these new ideas that are flowing through. Do not worry about all of the collapse and the crumble that you're seeing on the world stage. That is also happening for us, right? It might look like chaos, but that's just what happens when the light floods in and shows us everything that is ready to go. It looks dirty, it looks nasty, but it lets us clean it up. And the most fun that we can have with it is where we find our flow. So this has been delightful. Uh, I'm so grateful we had this time together. I'm rooting for you over the month of May. Please leave your comments or your questions below. If you aren't already subscribed to my channel, make sure that you do that so we can stay in touch with all of the amazing opportunities of things coming up. And if you want to spend more time in my world, please join us in the free Luminous Evolution group where I'm actually live every week where I am uh, just wanting to be in the energy of all of these beautiful people who are doing their soul work to support themselves and the world and grow doing it. Have so much fun this month, but take care of yourself. Sending you so much love.